And in terms of narratives that I bring, I tend to center you know, people of color in these narratives um, because we're not, we don't exist <laughs> in a lot of them. And also be, because it is a space where anything can happen and, it, and anything is possible. So I don't necessarily have to play by the rules that have been handed to me in the current society in which I live. I can imagine and dream other places where I am doing other things and people feel very differently about me. And that's always been the case. And in doing so, in speaking that into existence and writing it and having to figure it out, like, well, how would that work if it was a world where just the sexism just didn't exist? You know, in just like giving yourself that challenge, you then start to focus on like, yeah, what would that look like? and really making it real in your imagination. And that is one huge step to making it real in your actual living life on your day to day. You know, it's like, it's like the step one is, can you actually see it? Do you, if it happened, would you recognize it? 